Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to patch Diabolic Lovers Limited V edition into English, and I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do this on your modded PlayStation Vita or your modded PSTV. Before we even get into the prerequisites and everything like that, there is one thing I do want to state for this process and a disclaimer um, about this patch. Unfortunately, I cannot provide a link to this patch only due to the fact that I do want to respect the developers who worked on this and they wish um basically that this patch can only be provided through them due to you know the combat of piracy so basically they just want to verify um you know the developers themselves who worked on the actual patch they want to verify that you have a actual copy of the game whether it be a cartridge or a psn digital release without you know basically just pirating the game with a no mpdrm dump or anything of that shape and form only to you know support the actual developers who made the official japanese release so with that being all out the way i will show you guys on how to fully do this process but i'm not going to be providing any of the english patch files um for today's guide unfortunately but with that being all out the way let's get started on the prerequisites and then we're going to go to the pc and get everything set up assuming that you already have these files on hand and via from the actual developers themselves but with that being said out the way first things first you need a modded playstation vita that is already hacked so whether you're using the trinity hankaku h on core h on Toru exploit i will be using the hankaku enzo 3.60 exploit as long as your vita can run on sign code you're basically good to go um this does work from firmware 3.60 to 3.73 um you also need the latest version of vita shell you also need the latest version of auto plugin vbk the only thing you'll need for this process this is the repatch plugin and I'm gonna show you guys on how to install that you will need a you know a legit copy of the Balik, uh, lovers limited V whether if you're using the no MPDRM dump or if you're going to be using the official cartridge that's fine as well um what you also need is a Diabolics Lovers Limited V English patch. Once again, I can't provide the link to that. And last but not least, for the last two things on terms of transferring your files over, you'll either need files of Labs 3 client or a USB charging cable. With that being out the way, before we even get started, I'm going to showcase all of the people who worked on a patch right now. So special thanks to you guys. But with that being all out the way, let's go on to the PC and get this started. Alrighty, assuming that you guys did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're basically good to go and get started on the PS Vita side of things first. So first things first, you can already see that I already have the Dabalik uh, Lovers Limited V game on my actual console. So we're already good to go for that process as well. So either if you're using a cartridge based uh, version of the game or a PSN digital download, you're basically good to go for this process. Second thing, what we need for this as well is is Vita Shell so I will have that in the description down below if you don't already have it but what we need to do in Vita Shell is just open the application up just like any normal app and then we need to decide on how we're going to transfer our files over for today so first things first I'm going to hit start on my console um, I usually transfer um, any of my files that are usually larger in size via with a USB connection just to not avoid any corrupt files and it's just way much faster via rather than FTP because anytime you try to use FTP it's going off your internet connection so despite or depending on how fast your internet connection is it's going to be basically you know based on how fast your files can transfer over but if you guys want to transfer over via with FTP you can but for today's video I'm just going to be using a USB connection and the way on how to change that is just hitting left and right on your d-pad but depending on what you select I'm gonna be using USB what you want to do once you have that is hit select on your PlayStation Vita and then on your Vita it will say a USB has connected what you want to do is go to your actual PC and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on transferring all of our patch files 
Alrighty guys, so now that we're actually on the um, PC side of things and you already have your PlayStation Vita connected, whether you're having a USB connection or follow the FTP client, you can see my Vita via right here. One thing I do want to state before we even get into the nitty gritty and talk about the actual files and how to transfer them over, I'm going to go to the official patch site here just to kind of, you know, reiterate the steps or kind of reiterate what I stated in the intro. So if I go into Vita right here, I'm just explaining about uh the instructions they did state the developers like to not share the patch plus it's only for people who actually um you know have the official game and then they could give it out to you only due to the fact they want to support um the actual development team that created this game in the first place and try to prevent you know any type of piracy that's um the reason why to this but if you want to read more about um how it's translated and you know more about how um this was utilized and plus the people who um did the english patch you can but with that being you know all out the way once again what i'm going to do is go ahead and show you guys on how to install it so first things first i am going to go to dial lovers english patch um they will give you this patch i'm like once again i can't you know give it out to you but it'll be in a seven zip folder all you got to do is just extract it out with renoir and then um you just basically could drag and drop to your pc or you could hit right click extract files hit OK and then it will create this folder right here and then this is the folder that actually contains the English patch. So first things first, what you want to do is go on to your PlayStation Vita. If you don't already have a folder called Repatch formatted like this, all you got to do is just right click, rename or create a new folder. So just right click, uh, can't even actually do it right now okay yeah right click hit new and then hit folder and then all you gotta do is create one called repatch just like that and then um i'm just gonna hit yes since it's gonna merge the same folders but once you have a folder called repatch on your device what you want to do is go ahead and take the actual uh, diabolic lovers english patch and you want to drag it to your repatch folder so all you got to do is drag and drop i already had the patch in here but i'm going to show you guys on how to do it all you would need to do is just drag and drop from here and then wait for it to uh, transfer over another file we need is called auto plugin.vbk and this is just going to make sure that we have our repatch plugin for today's video so just go ahead and drag that over once auto plugin.vbk as well as the actual english patch is getting transferred over to our content folder right here what i'm going to do is cut the video wait come back in eight minutes and then i'm going to show you guys on how to verify that your file is there and then we're going to go to the vita and get everything set up so i'll meet you guys back for that Alrighty guys, so basically all of my files successfully transferred over. What we're gonna do is just verify that all of our files are in the correct directories. So what we're gonna do is just compare the actual um, file itself. So this is the um, content ID for our game, the Diabolic, Diabolic Lovers. So let me go into properties. Uh, you can see it's 2.80 gigs. Let's go into our repatch folder here that we just created. And we're gonna find 272. So let me um just highlight this name rename check the repatch folder for it so you can see that the game is via right here so voila here's it in the repatch folder you can see if i go into properties it'll tell us it's in the repatch folder on our vita and at the content id as well as it being 2.80 gigabytes so Congratulations, we basically did that step uh, perfectly fine. All we gotta do now is go to our Vita, get this set up, and then get auto plugin.vpk so we can play our game in English. Alrighty, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita itself. We already got all of our files transferred over. All we need to do is go into UX0. We need to go into auto plugin.vpk and then just install that. So if you already have auto plugin.vbk, whether a older version or you already have it installed, you can kind of skip this step. This is just, you know, going through the full process for people who are trying to do this from the beginning to end. But once auto plugin.vbk is on your screen, mine will pop up in live areas since I have um, basically a older version of it. So 
it's just going to, uh, you know, stay in the same place. But if it's a new application, I'll pop up and you'll see it like bouncing up and down on your main menu. But once uh, auto plugin.vpk is installed, we're going to just install repatch. We're going to verify that our repatch file is in the correct directory in our tie folder. And then we're going to go ahead and play our game. So that is done let's go into our device yours may be at the bottom but you can see my auto plugin vpk or auto plugin application is here once you verify that auto plugin is here just go ahead and run it and then once auto plugin vpk is in for you all we got to do is go to the first options uh plugin for vita so let me go ahead and click on that install plugins we're going to go and scroll all the way down to repatch. Make sure you're using um, the latest version, which is version 3.0. Uh, so this is the patch you want to go ahead and install. Hit X. And then all you got to install now or just basically once you hit X, depending on wherever you install your tie folders at. So if you're in UX zero, go ahead and hit L and restall, excuse me, install repatch via that way. But since I have all my um, plugins into your zero, that's why I have it in there. So just to, you know, double make sure it's installed. I just did it again. But once it's um, installed, all you got to do is hit start on your device. It will restart. And then what is going to happen your PlayStation Vita is going to be booting with the new config.txt that has repatch already on its boot config. So what I'm going to do now is come back. And then once my Vita has successfully restarted, we're going to go ahead and go and play our game. Alrighty, so my PlayStation Vita has successfully restarted. All we got to do now Let's go into our actual application. So we need to go into Vita Shell first. We're just going to verify that our repatch file is in the correct location. So let me go into UR0 here. If I go into my tie folder where I have all my plugins installed at, if I go into config.txt, you can see that my repatch folder is via right here. And then if we go into here, we could see that the repatch xkprx did install successfully and you could tell by the time it just installed from that directory so we're good to go for that now just to re-verify once again we're going to go into repatch just to make sure our plugin or excuse me not our plugin but our actual game is in the correct directory let me just check my pc just to verify the content id real quick so the content id we need to find that is in this directory is 272 so this is the actual patch for diabolic lovers once you verify that your patch is via here you could go ahead and back out your device go ahead and load your game so diabolic lovers go ahead and start it and then what i'm going to do is just wait for it to do its thing it's preparing it's uh the actual application and what you should notice that the game will be all in english soon so i'm just waiting for it to do its thing right now i think this part of the screen is not in english but as of right now you can see that um you know you see uh this right here on the screen it's in english just unauthorized caution protection thing or copyright thing can't even talk today i am recording this pretty late at night so i do apologize but as you can see here um the game is running just fine let me just skip through some screens you probably won't have or hear any audio from the game as well since i don't have my uh, audio jack plugged in but let me go ahead and just boot to its main screen so as you see in here you can see the title menu is in english so that is a good sign that your thing is already in patch uh here you the name has to be in japanese uh i'm just going to type something random and i'm gonna hit yes but as showcased here um you will see the end game text in english just so i can um show you guys the actual application let me turn up my volume so you guys can hear sorry i have to do it this way my vita that i am currently using doesn't have its volume button on or basically its button or the volume button is broken i should say but with that being all out the way you can see that the game is already in english 
So I'm just going to skip through some dialogue right here so you can see that the game is definitely in English. You can probably hear the audio in the background if I shut up. But yep, here's how you patch Diabolic Lovers English 5 limited into English. If you guys did have any questions on how to set this up, please let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, my name is Nagato's Revenge and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace